Orbital Microsystems has miniaturized weather observing and forecasting technology in space. Normally flown on satellites the size of a car, the OMS satellite is the size of a shoebox. This is the first time that we're taking technology that used to occupy large volumes and cost a lot and shrinking that technology and doing it at a cost that we can afford to put up a fleet. The company chose to test its technology through the in-orbit demonstration program because of Britain's unique space ecosystem. Here in the UK we're really well placed to support this uh, business concept because we're one of the world leaders of uh, small satellite manufacture and, and production. In fact we produce more small satellites here in the UK and in particular Scotland than uh, anywhere else in Europe. Funded by Innovate UK and run by the Satellite Applications Catapult, the programme develops partnerships with companies to test innovative services from space and attract customers before committing to full-scale constellations. The Orbital Microsystem mission, the first of what we hope to be four very successful missions that will help UK businesses to enable services using space assets. The OMS mission is the first of five missions to be delivered through the in-orbit demonstration programme. The small satellites are built by Clyde Space in Scotland. It will be deployed into low Earth orbit from the International Space Station through a partnership with NanoRacks via its Space Act agreement with NASA's US National Lab. Traditionally, it took a very, very long time, a lot of resource, a lot of money to get satellites into space, and it was really reserved for big companies and, and for governments. But now, with the new space revolution, we can do that in a much smaller amount of time and gives these companies the ability to de-risk both the technical and the business feasibility of their idea. The OMS craft is called GEMS, Global Environmental Monitoring Satellite. When all 35 are in position by 2020, they will record temperature, humidity, precipitation rate and type at different levels throughout the atmosphere, with data refreshed every 15 minutes rather than twice per day. Originally, NASA missions were providing a lot of weather data information. What it does not provide with very big satellites is information very often. If you have a constellation of satellites, you are then able to map the Earth and you can use of that data when it's needed. This will help airlines and shipping companies plan routes according to weather conditions, reducing delays, fuel consumption and emissions. Cutting just three minutes from transatlantic flight times will save the global airline industry nearly £1 million in a single day. Having pioneered the concept of small satellites, Britain's ambition is to be the go-to place for space applications, proving once more its leading role in space innovation. We have the, the skills and the technology and the capability, the infrastructure to, uh, to provide the uh, support that businesses like OMS need to be successful in the future. The GEMS in-orbit demonstration mission will launch by the end of 2018.